Hello everybody. In this video we will talk about business analyst and RPA team and the responsibilities for a business analyst. Each department has different processes. Some of these processes are suitable for automation and some are not suitable. The job of a business analyst is to select the appropriate processes that can be automated and bring benefits to the department. So the first task of a business analyst is the ability to identify the opportunity for automation. The second task is collect information and analyze the project. Business analyst has to collect information about the process, with which systems the process works, what input does the process have, what output should the process bring, what problems can one be confronted with. After that, the business analyst verifies that all actions performed by an employee are suitable for the bot. The third task is to document the ASAS process. Business analyst creates the PDD which means process design document. Business analyst works with operation SMEs and stakeholders to fully and clearly document the ASAS process to the keystroke level of detail that is required for a robotic process automation program. It is normally called a PDD. Business analyst will document every click in this document. At the end we have a PDD which contains all information about the process, like input, output, programs needed for the process and exceptions which may occur in the process due to system failure or business logic. The fourth task for a business analyst is to create the SDD, Solution Design Document. SDD is a document where the diagram of the process is drawn, how the process should look later. This includes the inputs and outputs for each process step. This makes it easier for the developer to implement the process later. In this diagram you can see the whole process. This process contains five high levels, prepare, main process, reporting, cleanup and general exception in case of an unhandled exception. In this second diagram you can see as example the first high level, which contains all steps like, read config file, get emails from Outlook and launch SAP. The fifth task for business analyst is to create the TDD, technical design document. The business analyst does this with the infrastructure engineer. Business analyst creates the TDD, which contains the technical requirements of the process, such as drive, outlook, systems and access to the systems. The task of the infrastructure engineer is to go through this document and to implement the individual requirements and to check whether everything has been implemented correctly. The infrastructure engineer checks if the drive is mapped. The infrastructure engineer checks whether Outlook is installed and configured, that means it checks whether a particular mailbox should be added on the machine. Checks which systems are necessary for the process and installs them on the machine. Checks whether the bot has access to drive, Outlook and all necessary systems. The sixth task of a business analyst is, to act as central point of knowledge. The business analyst mainly performs this task during the phases, implementation and testing. Business analyst communicates with developer and SMEs to answer any queries that arise during implementation and testing of an automated solution. Task number seven is to create test plan and cases. Each process has three different options, happy path, where the process runs normally as requested, business exception, where the bot works properly, but the data is incorrect from a business perspective, such as an empty field in SAP, system exception, where the bot cannot run properly because a system cannot be started correctly or whatever else that is related to the system. The task of the business analyst is to collect and categorize test cases for all three options. These are then carried out by the bot together with the SMEs in order to check the functionality of the bot for correctness. Task number eight is to provide live demo to the SMEs. After the business analyst has collected the test cases and the bot has been implemented by the developer, the business analyst plans a meeting to test the bot live. The following people are involved in the appointment, business analyst, developer and the SMEs. The test is carried out using the collected test cases. It is better to test the bot twice. First one, step by step through the developer from the studio. The second time is then from the scheduler without the developer doing anything on the bot. That means, developer runs the bot from scheduler, not from studio. Number nine is the communication. After the bot has been live, the developer is responsible for maintenance. If there are problems with the bot, the SME should be informed. The business analyst takes over the communication. He receives the information from the developer and forwards it to the SMEs. If the SMEs have questions about the bot, 
they contact the business analyst and he asks the developer and passes the information back on to the SMEs. Now at the end of the video I will summarize the tasks of a business analyst for you. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next video.